Okay, welcome back, foul tarnished, full of ambition. This inscribes me to welcome back to the playthrough of Elden Ring Inner Coliseum Combat. I don't think I've ever done that. Maybe, well, I won't do that for the first time in the video. <laughs> uh, but anyway, welcome back to the playthrough of Queen Delane. She is a high faith. Um, cleric casting incantation. Let's take a look at her stats. Faith will go up to 99. Vigor Mind will up to 40. Everything else will stay at 10. Right now it's buffed by 5 because of Godric's rune. Uh, in terms of equipment, we have the Earth Tree Seal, Cypher Pata, God Slayer Seal to help with the Black Flame. This is uh, just for when we do guard counters. And uh, this will end up being the gravel seal to help with lightning. And this is just um, clothing to make her look hopefully regal to an extent. Uh, back to the dr dress and a crown. And this increases incantations and this increases faith. So there we go. And the um, incantations, I'm sorry, the talismans change greatly throughout the game as I feel like it. Greetings. You have so I anything to upgrade here. I don't think I do. Alright. Uh, let's check on Nefeli. She should still be here. No. How could I say father has a now? Yeah, don't worry about it too much. Uh, I wonder if I need to talk to Gideon though. Fuck that I may need to talk to Gideon because I feel like she gave me a response as if I had not talked to Gideon about her. I went the wrong way. We'll go this way. The long way. So we've only got one, uh... Um, no, I don't care about any of that. Uh, we've only got one area to do before we go up and start um, getting to Lane Dell and that area on the Altus Plateau. Advancing Millicent's quest and so forth. There's a ball bearing for them. Bell bearing I should say. Uh, nothing else to purchase. Let's get leveled up. So we gotta do the the old palace area. Um, and, um, let's actually let's see if there's anything we can upgrade here. And the crystal caves by, um, well, Ray Lucaria. Where have you been hiding? No matter, lay out your arms. Yeah, you took me for dead, even though nobody dies here. I can get the Cypher Pata. Or Smithy Stone 3. So, with that upgraded, it's now doing what is that? Uh, 289 damage per hit. That's pretty good. Also, it's um, Ash of War Unblockable Blade. I believe one hit with it will actually. Um, Shatter the armor of a crystallion. All right, we're getting on up there. Now, there's two places. So here's the order I'm going to do these. All marked is on the map. Okay, so there's a cave there. Uh, I think I'm not exactly sure that this cave is. I think it's here, but that's where you get Terra Magna, and I think that's where the cave is right there. 
If not, we'll find it. It's around us. So it might be back here. But I think it's right there. We'll do that first. Then we'll come over and do this, the crystal cave here. Then we're going to go up here and do this, I don't know, dramatic <laughs> ruins with the guardian spirits, our ancestor spirits, that shoot you with really arrows that really hurt. I also put it. And um, so I'm just going to mark that, like, I know, here. Doesn't really matter. And then um, we are going to come up around this way. And fight, or defeat Sauron's tower here, basically. And then, um, we will uh, take on this village and then go fight Vike up here. Although I might actually... No, I'm going to wait to do that. So we'll do that in that sort of... We're going to go to this this cave where Terra Magna is. Then this crystal cave. And there's a mausoleum to calm here. And then we'll do the old palace ruins and, and the Erd the Ur tree. And then we'll decide what we're doing after that. Probably... Um, probably about ready to finish Ray Lucardia at that point. And fight Renala because we need to get um, from Topes. We need to get um, the erudition so we can open some of these towers to get um, uh, to, to get memory stones. All right, so we're gonna start here, and we gotta watch out for lobsters. That's gonna be our main, our main thing right here. So we're in water, therefore lightning is end up being the most effective. I also feel like there is a bear around here somewhere. I don't know that I've ever looted this cemetery. I guess I could try taking these guys out. Got away with that. What the heck was that from? That guy's launching him. That's not very nice.
That is a lot of magic. I just drank the wrong juice. I wonder if fires are affected more than the... You know, I know they're in water. It ended up being about the same. Okay, yeah, I don't think I've ever looted this, um... Got your head. I don't think I've ever looted that cemetery before. Let's see if I got this cave right. Hopefully it's not where that room bear is. Well. Alright, that's not it. mentioned it must be further around. Maybe back in this area? There's the dragon I could fight. I don't really need to. There's the cave. I took two stone sword keys. Or how many I have left. Cavity yeah, Crystal Cave. Okay, I have no remembrance of what's in here. Even though I went here with my mage. Beware of rat. See if this is swampy. I'll use my lightning. All right. All right. This one will probably be a little bit longer too. I feel like there's. A group of magic users coming up. Let's see what this says. Plump sort of head. How cryptic. Oh, I see. See what this will do. Oh, 
Oh, got gunning for me. It's alive. How is this so? Now he's not. There's somebody else, though. Alright, nothing like melee against a wizard. Let's see what else we see over here. This is where it has the battle mage over this direction. Uh, okay. <clears throat> I vaguely remember this now. I feel like... I feel like someone's going to attack me. Got back a stone sword key. Alright. Yes, I remember this now. There's a battle mage up here. And another place to the uh, top. Like a ledge. take him out with I did not reach him uh, that guy jumped right in the way of it He's going to try to grab Thor's hammer on me. If this is a secret passage or something here, I think. Yeah, I remember. I'm going to do it this way because I... Wrong time to try to cast a spell, brother. Got to bust up the boards. Crystal Staff. I feel like I have never particularly used that except in testing. Boom. It is funny to note that uh, the woman this is based on will watch these <laughs> and every time I do stuff like dive to tables like that uh, she's like, what are you doing? Why would I jump through a table and, you know, bust it up? Hurt my head, whatnot. Got a rune arc. Okay, so the boss here, I don't 
particularly remember. I think it might be Crystallians. Um, so I'm probably going to use Ingval. And I will use the um, Ash of War on this. Okay. Let me make sure I can summon Ingval what I have left. I cannot. So we'll do that. Do this. And if it's for stallions, I'm going to try to break them using my um, my Cypherpata. Oh, I summoned the wrong tag I was doing, um, okay, fine. I was doing, uh, Dark Souls 3 commands. breaks their armor with the unblockable blade. Um, I don't know why that's so devastating, <laughs> but but the Cypher Pot really is. So that went okay, um, based on summoning the wrong uh, <laughs> ash. Um, but anyway, that showed the power of the Cypher Pot against the Crystallians. Now, one thing I want to mention is you notice I did this, and it made my stats and stuff pop up, but I was trying to two-hand, and that's the command in, uh, it makes me bow, that's the command in DS3, is I need to do this, so I could do that, and it was, I don't know, it was laughable, it was funny, because I used um, Dark Souls 3 command for two-handing. And uh, it, it just made me look um, sort of dumb. Which I don't mind. It's fun I can laugh at myself. So. But that's okay. Even though I summoned the wrong Ash, or the Ash didn't want to, I. Um, we were way up here. I was able to defeat the Cypherpata. That unblockable blade, two hits with it, it breaks their stance. And and the first one actually stuns them. So, uh, sort of, uh, yeah, stun locks. Not lock, stun lock them, but it just blocks them. Okay, now we're going to go over here. We'll end the, we're going to end this video because it's getting a little bit long. But um, when we come back, we will head over there and get that uh, mausoleum and the uh, crystal cave situated. So if we do like and subscribe, and I appreciate that, um, leave a comment. Would it be great? I respond to all of them. And uh, those of you that respond and wish I'd respond sooner, or wondering what type of response, I usually respond during the week. Um, so I wanted it from one computer. I messed it up once using a different system. So anyway, I appreciate you watching. Uh, do like and subscribe, please. Thanks.